You know what's going on. Just got through washing my car. I figured I'd start washing it myself. Because you take it to these places, they uh, don't seem to get them clean. Or clean enough. Just after one wash, doing it myself. <clears throat> a whole lot cleaner than a car wash. Even in, in, in the uh, best... Uh, what you call it? The best uh, car wash selection. Only thing is, since I live in an apartment and there's a garage, I kind of have to... Uh, found a device to, put, to spray the water and right after I bought it of course it was a pump device then I find that they had cordless ones <laughs> that's powerful luckily they don't cost too much but <clears throat> so I get one of those next saves you a whole lot of time money plus the car wash is better why not <clears throat> and with those cordless ones you can use any water supply, just take water out of a bucket, gallon of water, any damn thing, and it'll just suck up the water and spray it better than a car wash. You get your own uh, cleaning ingredients. I didn't feel like hand waxing it though, so maybe some other time. But what I did use had wax on it anyway. But <clears throat> So anyway, just started my voice is a little gone as it is, yeah. But, um, as you know, I've been away for a while. Just been a little tired. Plus, uh, the main thing is, I was, uh, like I told you in April, I tried to, uh, upgrade my computer. Remember when I told you I was at Micro Center on Long Island? I got some good deals on motherboards. And, uh... I was trying to get that Intel. Part of me didn't really want to upgrade because the computer I had was serious, professional style, but I just needed something that PCIe 4.0 and 5.0. I just wanted to deal with that. <clears throat> so I tried Intel and I looked at the dates that was back in April. I told you about the motherboard, the things just wouldn't boot up. Only one of them lit up, but it wouldn't boot up. And I did wait four or five minutes. So I tried two CPUs, three motherboards. One motherboard I destroyed because I put the, uh, I usually put use the uh, power um, drill to screw my motherboard and stuff and the heat sink together never had a problem all these years so with this one i guess because it was made out of plastic and not metal like the other ones i had it stuck together so i tried doing everything i could and then i said fuck it i got to break this motherfucker off then just go back to the store and tell them uh some bullshit story which actually when i took the motherboard back that was destroyed the guy didn't really uh, believe it. I mean, he didn't even open the box. He just looked at it and said, okay. And then when I went to take the CPU back, then this white female manager or Hispanic, Mexican, white style Hispanic tried to uh, say, no, there's been cases of fraud, so I'm not taking it back. So I called her every name in the book. And then I called the main store number. They told me, just take it back to another store. I was like, damn, why would they do some shit like this? But then I ended up taking it back to another store. They took it back, no questions asked. <laughs> so, you know, it's crazy. But um, nonetheless, that was Intel. I made my attempt. And then shortly after that, I don't know if you follow computers, but, you know, the Intel CPUs had their issues. So it wasn't my imagination because this is the first time I ever, you know, Got a new computer components and the shit never worked. First time in my entire life. So I didn't understand that shit. So I gave up, went back to what I had. Remember, I told you the shit was working even better because I reseeded everything. 
So, you know, I actually was feeling good about that. The, to be honest with you, I said, oh, going through all that made my old one look better. So, in addition to all that, I didn't do shit for a few months. And then I started looking into it again. Because I was curious about the PCIe 4.0 on the on the GPU. I just wanted to see if it was what it was. So I went, did some more research, looked into the AMD. Before I used to lead wanted to leave the AMDs alone because they said they ran hot. And um some other shit. But anyway, they use the AVX 512. Intel does not any longer. And I realized that there was a program or two that uses that. And unlike the Intel that I had that didn't use it to the full power of the CPU, the AMD, it does. And I could have gotten the 16 core, but I said, let me get the 12. Number one, the price was a lot cheaper. Two, 12 is what I had with the Intel. So, part of me wanted to, you know, experiment, you know, core for core to see which one is the, is the better one. So, kept reading all the, you know, the, the architecture and everything. Because I'm like, I can't believe that these would be this much faster than what I had. Because it just seemed unbelievable. But they did push shit to the technical limits. But I hooked it up. Tried everything out. And shit. It is that much faster. But my other system was still strong though. It was still strong. But the AMD. It, and, oh yeah and the shit booted up. With the first press of a button. So that goes to show you that the Intel. Was fucked up. So, and and funny part is I use the same exact RAM that I bought for the Intel on this AMD. I ended up taking it back, of course, but I, I said, let me just check my new egg account out of curiosity, just to see if that was the same exact model, and, and it was. So it goes to show <laughs> it was all Intel. Intel was messed up. It's crazy. So I just tested out video games, every damn thing. Downloading, the immediate impact comes from the network card. So even though my other network card was five gigs, this one's only two and a half. This one's a lot faster. Maybe because it's connected to PCIe 4.0. A whole lot faster. Now, when you do the speed test, you know, it comes out to be, be about the same, but you notice that the ping is cut in half. So, it must be the PCIe 4.0, maybe because it's a real tech instead of an Intel. I don't know. But that's much faster. At first, part of it, I was like, I don't know, but then I made some adjustments because they had everything on green network and all that kind of stuff to save power. So I said, let me go through it and take it off. I don't know why they put that on by default. It's not like that takes a whole lot of power. But once you take all that green energy saver shit off the network card, my God. God damn. I said, damn. And, um. Damn, I forgot to get water when I went to the store, too. <laughs> so. After that, I said, damn. Then I had to test out video rendering. You got to test that everything out. Video rendering. Photoshop. Every goddamn thing. Photoshop comes up in an instant. No delay. 
video rendering. First, I rendered using the CPUs because this is supposed to be so fast. It was fast. It was fast. Then, you know, I got to test everything. I said, let me render it with my GPU since it's now PCIe 4.0. And that was even faster. I forgot which one it was. Either it was the CPU or the GPU. Rendered an hour and a half. I think it was 720p or 1080p. I think it was 1080p. Hour and a half video in seven minutes. I said, damn, middle comp uh, uh, compression. I said, damn, but I think I'm going to start encoding videos at AV1 now since I see an updated software for my renderer has an option now. Save a lot more space and it'll render a lot faster. I didn't even test that out yet. But all I know is everything, the video is cleaner, clearer, more pure. Colors pop even more. I mean, it's like when you see solid colors, solid reds and shit, it's like, God damn, you know, it's, it's, it's like deep. <laughs> I can't, I can't explain it. Play some video games just to see, you know, what the deal is. So I know I'm, people are like, damn, he ain't getting to the point again. I will. I didn't even say what the point was, but I'll get to it. <laughs> so I told you I was late to the game with the Bioshock games. So I went on YouTube just to see um, what it would look like, you know, with a higher level system. And then I found that there was something called Minerva's Den on uh, Bioshock 2. Download content. I said, hold up. You mean I had this shit all the time and I didn't know it? I had it. I didn't know it. I said, damn, they didn't, it's not like they threw it in your face that you should have it. So I said, let me download the game again. Downloaded it. Of course, you know, that's an old game. But when you fine tune it and, and deal with the textures and stuff, but you don't want to go overboard with the textures. Don't let the... GPU overprocess it because then it won't look as astonishing, you know. But I did all that, did everything up, and I was like, damn, this shit looking good for an old game. Now, after finishing in the shit, I didn't really see how it connected with the rest of the game, but nonetheless, I love Bioshock, so I said, hell, to get some more of it, I'll, I'll take it. What else did I check out again? I checked out, uh, of course, the GTA 5 plays better. Textures pop. On my character's uh, coat, I can now see buttons. Differences in textures. The... <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, this shit remote starts. Okay. Uh, differences in textures. Uh, uh, the differences in the... You know, the colors of the camouflage that I use on my character. Everything, it just looks, the shadows are unbelievable. I didn't think that the CPU could actually enhance game. I, I don't know if it's the CPU or if it's the PCIe 4.0. Or, or maybe it's both. But whatever the case is, shit is looking more astonishing. Plays with ease. Colors pop. Details pop. Textures pop. And are distinct. Colors are unbelievable. And that's an upgrade, and I still got the same monitor. So everything, the only thing that changed was the CPU, the RAM. So it could be that too, that DDR5. Could be that too. Could be a combination of everything. But um, whichever the case was, shit was astonishing. Then I played another game I didn't really get into. But I started messing with that. I don't even, I still, to this day, I still don't know how to pronounce this shit. D 
due ease or something like that. The game's been a hit for years, but I'm like, I don't even know how to pronounce the shit. But the impact on that one was immediate because when I uh, last played it on the last setup, I don't know why it was slowing down on the last time I did it because it wasn't slowing down before that. But even with GTA, like the you see the you walk around and you see the posters, you see boxes, trash lying around. See, before it was colorful and detailed, but you really couldn't read what the fuck they were saying. What was on it. Now you could read what was on it. When you see a box lying around, you actually read the fucking UPS label on it. <laughs> I said, damn. Same thing with that Dewey game. When I was in the beginning part, uh, I think I, Mankind Divided is the name of the game. I was in the beginning part in that warehouse where they had the boxes and shit. I was like, God damn. Shit went from just looking like a generic, I don't want to say blurred box, but, box, uh, you know, you knew it was a box, but you didn't give a damn what it looked like. But once this shit changed, then all of a sudden you, you cared about what it looked like because you could see the fucking tape on the box. You could see the UPS label, read the numbers and shit. I said, God damn. Everything was clear, clean, fluid. I said, damn. Then that other game, I had to, I got all three of those Hitman games, but I never played them. Because the first one I had on bootleg, and then I didn't realize you need to be online. And then kept switching shit up. Playing the tutorial. Because I'm like, where do you begin in the game? You know, the other Hitman games, you, you know, they just told you how to just jump right in. But this one's like, damn, I mean, you, 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 where do you start? So anyway, I put that in just to see. You know, those graphics were always astonishing anyway. Of course, it looked even more astonishing. The, the, the mansion of that uh, designer. The metals look metal. You know, all the materials look like materials that they really are in real life. Marble. That's the main thing I noticed, too, about the whole shit. I said, damn. I said, this shit is unbelievable. And then, uh, what else did I test? I just tested every damn thing. All I can say is I'm more than satisfied. But I had to fine-tune it. Because, um, I think with the AMD, I think the max temperature was... 95 degrees, I think. Every now and then it would go over a little bit if I did. I know I didn't overclock it, so I underclocked it. And cut down the max temperature, and that actually made it run better. AMD and Intel, they both over-engineered this shit and made them run hot. Just so they can uh, say that they're faster than the other guy or faster than before. So... You know, that's that. So, I got that. I should be loading up some more, uh, especially the Hollywood, what is the racism in Hollywood. I had to wait on that because I had to find the files I used. I still couldn't find it, so I had to recreate one. And um, I still lost a lot of my original files to the uh, series. So I might have to da download the movies again and redo them. I hate to do it again, but, you know, you got to do it. I'm going to add some new movies on, like uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Lionel knows what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> that's a scene, you know, typical 80s movies, man. That type of racism. Uh, I was just watching Ocean's Eleven from uh, the original one. I haven't seen the original or the remake. And that's from 1960. But they had a lot of slick shit in it too. Which you should expect from 1960. But Sammy Davis Jr. That's supposed to be their boy. But then again after having watched it. I guess he was their boy. <laughs> but he didn't give a fuck. You know that. 
long as he was in there. Uh, so anyway, let me get to it because uh, now people are gonna say, "Damn, he took twenty minutes on this shit, and probably ten minutes on the next shit." But let me say this. I'm going to do a separate video on the topic that's related to this, but that's going to be something else. I think my voice is kind of fading away as it was. It's probably fading away before I started because I just washed the car. But, um... <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's the other thing, too, before I get on to it, too. Uh, when you go through, through a car wash, see, they got the chemicals and shit... That's designed to react quickly as you're going through it. See, then when you do the shit yourself, you get your own shit. That's designed to react slowly. So it'll work better. You know, if it wasn't so fucking windy and even if, after I watched this, a little bit of dust because you got all these leaves and shit and dust and shit even making me sneeze too. So that's why I don't want to wax. I I normally I wax it twice a year, hand wax it, but I didn't get a chance to do that. But again, this cleaner had wax in it, so it was just not as deep as I normally would like to do it. Oh yeah. Before I get to it again. Speaking of cars. If you were in New York on Monday. Not this past Monday. The Monday when the Jets played on Monday Night Football. After they fired Robert Sala. Those bitches made me lose, uh, miss a lot of the game. I thought I was going to miss half of it. You wouldn't believe what the fuck happened to me. Anybody who knows that Willis Ave Bridge going to the Deegan. Anybody who knows that bridge. You know if you're going to the Deegan. Especially when you're coming from Harlem. FDR. Coming from the FDR. And you jump on it. You know. A lot of people don't know it. But you know if you're taking the Deegan. You got to hurry up. Some people wait until the last minute. Which I can't stand. Because that just causes a whole bunch of congestion, confusion, and a whole bunch of craziness. So, no matter how crowded it is, I always make sure I pull over and get into the left lane as soon as possible. As soon as it's available. Now, the only time I don't manage to do it is when somebody is in front of me and they're scared straight. And they don't realize what the fuck they need to do. As was the case on that particular Monday. Normally, I, I wait. I'm patient. I was waiting. But then, you know, most people, once they're in the left, they don't like you getting in front of them. I know I don't either, but it's not because I don't want people to get in front. It's because, you know, they just come in and waste time. And once one gets in, the other ones start thinking, oh, I can get in too. So that's why you don't let them in. And I usually understand it when the few times that, you know, I, I actually get stuck. And can't get in the left lane. So this is one of them. One thing I, I usually do. Like if somebody's driving a, co uh, a company truck. I'll usually cut in front of them. Because they're not really trying to get into an accident. Unlike other people. They'll actually. You know. They can lose their jobs. So. They're not going to fight for the spot. But. I was behind a company car. The person behind that truck, you know, you got to watch, you got to scope it out so you can get in. This bitch is, and that's what I said, she's white anyway. Redhead, ugly. Think she was gay too because that other one, East Indian lady, they both had short haircuts. This is the strangest shit that I've ever experienced in, in quite some time, man. I might even just call this update and then 
we'll see if I can get to the main topic or not, because this story right here might take up some more time. So, uh, <laughs> so you know how sometimes people aren't paying attention, and then the gap in the line opens up. So I spot it, start cutting in, cut in enough to let it be known I'm cutting in, but not to look you know aggressive like I'm taking this. I could have gotten in. I, I got like a lot of my car in to know that I'm in. And the lady's driving an SUV, a uh, Genesis. So I'm stopped because now I see she paid. She she got alert and then she's starting to move now. I couldn't move back because you know how it is. Cars are coming from the other side nonstop. So. I'm looking and then I'm like thinking to myself, okay, is this lady about to stop? And uh, she was still going. <laughs> and then next thing I hear is I hear a crunch. I said, oh, shit. So I'm thinking, damn, how bad is this going to be? <clears throat> I said, this is the worst place to get into an accident is on a motherfucking bridge in New York. <laughs> Especially a smaller bridge like this one. Shorter bridge. So she screams and calls me assholes and this and shit and this, that, and the other. I'm like, what the fuck is this bitch mad about? She hit me. She's like, you hit me. I said, bitch, I'm up here. I got our video recorded that. That's the first thing that happens when you get an accident. Start taking pictures of how the shit was as it was. That's the most important thing to the insurance company. Because other people will lie. Some people won't. But believe me, man, most people do lie. <laughs> it's, it's fucked up, but they do. And you better capture the moment right then and there because... Once they start lying, they're going to they're gonna try to get that money. And then it's going to hurt you in the end. So, I don't know if people know, but in New, in New York, you had signs that say, getting into a minor accident, pull over, exchange insurance information. So, I would have done that. But, as soon as it happened, the bitch said, you ran into me. I'm like... This bitch must be hallucinating or something because I'm, I'm up here. I, I told you what I just told you. I cut in, couldn't get in. So I stopped and I couldn't move back. She could. She had enough room to avoid hitting me. But she kept going straight. I, I know she saw me. Because why would she say that I ran into her when she ran into me? But she act like she could. she couldn't see me. But she couldn't see me and she ran into me. How is she going to know that I ran into her? So I didn't like that. She's calling me assholes. I said, man, what kind of bitch is this? I said, this lady is just about in the Bronx. She got way out of state plates. I ain't going to say the name of the plates. <laughs> but it's a Midwestern state. Uh, I said, I don't know what kind of con game this bitch is playing. So... I'm trying to get out the car after I'm filming. I'm recording it, video recording it. And I was going to put it on here. And then I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm like, damn, the, the angle of my car next to her is I couldn't get out of the car, you know? And I don't like that feeling. So I need to get out, survey the damage, and be prepared to kick some ass just in case that has to happen. So... You know, I couldn't do that shit. And the way my car is, and as big as I am, it's kind of hard for me to just get on the other side and get out. And if, even if I tried, all these fucking cars are coming nonstop. So it's hard to do. <clears throat> so I started trying to move ahead. The bitch gets out the car, starts tugging on. I had the window down. She starts tugging on my door. I said, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, you're going to exchange insurance information. I said, bitch, I'm trying to pull up. So I can get the fuck out uh, of the people's way. She's like, you ain't going nowhere. I said, bitch, of course I'm not going nowhere. I'm pulling in front of your car, bitch. 
My voice is gone. I can't even express myself the way I want to. I said, this bitch is crazy. But I hope she don't think that's going to scare me, though. And like I say, man, I don't give a damn how crazy you are. I can, I can set you straight. <laughs> so, uh, my main concern at this point, because she's tugging on my doors, the front door and the back door. I'm like, man, I've never seen anybody do this kind of shit before. So I said, I got to hurry up, <clears throat> pull ahead. So I can get out because I don't like being trapped in this situation. Bad enough, you got people looking at you, which is why I avoid accidents. The main reason I avoid accidents. And I did avoid this one. This bitch didn't. So I surveyed the damage. She's like, you hit me. I said, bitch, you hit me. Because she's lying like that. That's why I said, I ain't giving my. She's like, I'm calling the police. I said, call them. She's like, and I recorded it too. I said, good, so you can see that you hit me. She's like, you hit me. Never had anybody argue about who hit what, except for one, one time this guy had gotten a brand new car, not even a week or two old. I was on the Hutch, Hutchison River Parkway, for people who don't know. Traffic was stopped. And I don't mean slowed, it was stopped. Period. T to the point people had to turn their cars off. Old man behind me is driving a brand new Jaguar. Forgot the name of the shit, but I think it was $85,000 Jaguar. And theirs was about two weeks old. <laughs> the idiot let his wife get in the car and drive, even though we weren't going anywhere. But for some odd reason, she must have thought they were older, Jewish. Must have thought they were going somewhere because she rear-ended me. I said, oh, shit. And that's when the guy tried to say, uh, he lied. That's, that's the thing. He lied to the insurance company. He tried to say, I was driving. I told them we had the same insurance company. I said, no, no, no. He let his wife drive. And I. that's why I, as soon as that happens, don't get mad at nothing. Don't. Pull over. Don't do nothing else. You get into an right, accident. That is an accident where, you know, you're able to get out of the car on your own, you know. The main thing, first thing you do at all time, every time, is to get your camera together. Get it on. Start taking pictures. Pictures are better than video. You could take your video if you want to, but you got to take you some pictures, too. So you can send that shit to the insurance company. Take it from every angle. Far, close, side. The the what where the imp, the point of impact. Where you are on the road. So you can see that is if it wasn't your fault. You can see that you were the one driving the, in the right way and they were the one fucking up. If you can, what road sign you were on, the road you were on, every damn thing. Make sure you get their plates. Never forget about that. The make and model of the vehicle. And the VIN number if you want to. And um, take a picture of everybody, everything. Because trust me, when, when, that, when that guy lied and he said somebody rear-ended him, which made him rear end me. I had pictures of his rear of his vehicle. And of course, nobody rear ended him. Because if he had somebody rear ended him enough to rear end me, where I needed a new bumper replacement, then obviously his car would have been even more damaged. But of course, nobody was moving but them because they were fucking senile. Then the guy's like, I own a textile company. In Queens. He's like, uh, I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, you know, how the fuck is that supposed to be benefiting me? You gonna tell me you about to buy me a new car? Again? <laughs> I mean, what are you saying? He's like, I'll pay you a deductible. I said, man, fuck all that. <laughs> so I was waiting to hear if the man's gonna be like, man, you know what, man? I'll pay for the damage and hit you off with a few G's. 
Now, if he would have said some shit like that, then, then I say we, we, we could do that. We can we can not call the police because that's what he said. he said. He didn't want me to call the police. And the police were right ahead of us because it was an accident ahead of us. That's what caused everybody to stop. So those police, they had to come back down to us because <laughs> this idiot. So, you know, the insurance company, they said, you know, the... The story he told, I said, no, nah, that, that's, that's, that's BS. See, that's why you take the pictures. Then you send it to the insurance company. Then they know who's lying automatically. End the story, end the debate. Once they got the pictures, they said, okay, we're paying for your damage. <laughs> so with this case, now, I, I will admit this. If a cop had arrived on the scene, it would have been harder for me to prove my case. But I said, so this is why you don't tell people everything. But I still had one Trump card to play because she got slick. You know, because she's trying to say I ran into her. But of course, why would I? Been driving that road for too many years. And even wild fashion and speeding fashion, cutting in and out, never got no uh, fucking accident. But see, there was one trump card I could have played if it had to go there. This, this is how you got to tell when people start lying, you got to get your shit together. Her side view mirror was further ahead of my side view mirror. The point of impact was before that. So if I hit her, my her side view mirror, her car that means her car was ahead of mine. So if I hit her, that wouldn't have been the case. But we didn't have to go that far, so I get out, survey the damage. Let's say I got a piece of my, my chrome trim. Uh, broken half, I said, damn. But I had noticed on that particular chrome trim anyway, there was a little peeling of the chrome. Which I don't know how that happened, so I was considering replacing that shit anyway. But I never did. Of course, this really made me do it. So my shit popped up. I was think I was expecting some bumper damage. I did get a couple of deep scratches. Some other shit that was buffed out, buffed out. There was a couple of uh, strong scratches, but they don't really affect the appearance that much. In the grand scheme of things, I didn't even take the uh, the machine to it. I got to do that. Could have done it today. I didn't feel like I didn't feel like washing the car, but I said, let me wash it now because I was fucking falling asleep. I said, let me wash the shit now because if I don't, <laughs> I know I'm about to fucking fall asleep and probably never watch this shit and keep bullshitting so all in all this is what happened my chrome trim piece came off which kind of made my car look like you know I don't I don't like the shit looking like that I, I like my shit looking together so the, the scratches I'm gonna have to eat it didn't reveal fuck up the paint so that's cool but I gotta, uh, I gotta buff that shit out. Uh, luckily, I know how to do that kind of shit. But the main thing is those bitches kept saying, I, I, I gather they were gay, because they both had short haircuts and they were both together. And the passenger kept doing a lot of the talking for the driver, which I thought was pretty unusual. The fuck is a passenger gonna be the one doing all the talking? You ain't driving. So. I said, man, what the fuck am I hearing from you for? Police, insurance, they're not going to want to hear what the fuck you got to say. So what the fuck are you doing, doing talking, the talking for? So after that, looked at her damage. Looked like she had a, a fucked up rim. Not warped or anything, just, you know. Like you scratched it against the curb, which could have been 
I'm guessing that shit was there already. And the reason why is because I don't see the damage to her wheel that got transferred to my car. And I actually, I got lucky to be honest with you because that was an SUV. So GV80, Genesis. Then I also noticed in her tire, her tire had a cut, lateral cut, significant cut. That, now that could have come from my chrome piece. I mean, you know, that's just pl chrome plated plastic though. Or that shit could have been there already. Because again, the damage to my car, I don't see how that shit translates to the shit that she got. And I'm thinking to myself, because every, the most, here's the thing I got out of most of the shit that they were talking. Because it sounded like a bunch of bullshit. Because I know it was bullshit because I know I didn't run into them. But they kept insisting that I ran into them and they kept asking for my insurance. I said, what the fuck you want the insurance for? You hit me. That's what she said. You hit me. That's why. I said, the fuck, man? This is minor damage. This is shit fucking deductible. It's going to cost more, at least to my shit. The deductible is going to cost more. A lot more. Because the truth be told. Now if I would have gotten my shit. That piece from the dealer. That shit would have been a hundred bucks. If they would have installed it. Probably would have. You know they probably would have charged me like. I wouldn't doubt it. You know accidents and shit. Insurance they probably would have charged me like. 300, 400, 500. And made up some bullshit of why they doing it. But see I had my eye on that piece. Any goddamn way. You know, Rock Auto, that's the place. Got that shit for 30 bucks. Installed that shit myself. Now, the shit was a tight fit because, you know, it, you know, you had screwdrivers that, I mean, it, the screws were in tight spots. So I had to, had to work it. But I got it in there. A little more work than I thought, but I got it in there. Now, my shit looking better than ever, actually, but except for that scratch. But, um, so again, that's why I didn't want to go through with the shit. Cause I'm like, man, this shit ain't even worth the time. So we, you know, we called the police. We we're both sitting on the bridge for like three fucking hours. Cause this bitch was fucking stubborn. I said, listen, I kept going to her every now and then saying, listen, man, we might as well just, you pay for your shit. I pay for mine. But the fact that she kept insisting about insurance Made me suspicious. I said, I'll wait for the police then if you want insurance. And we were waiting. The police never showed up. I thought I heard police two times. But they never came. And a whole bunch of people behind her. I'm in front of her. People behind her. Piling behind her. Even though she got her hazards on. Like they're waiting in line. I said, damn. I said, I'm up here looking like a goddamn idiot because of this bitch. So, but I had to re, you know, I get out, take pictures again. Oh, shit, made a mistake. I hit the thing. <laughs> uh, I had to reassess my damage. I didn't give a fuck about her damage. Uh, I said, okay, yeah, I'm looking at the bumper, feeling it. You know, sometimes it could be some damage under the bumper. There's no damage. You know, I've been through this shit enough times to know what the fuck the deal is, how to assess shit. So, I'm like, okay, this is going to cost me X amount of dollars. Because I could do it myself. The biggest concern was any, you know, how well I can get these, these scratches out. This one scratch is kind of deep. But... It's still something that people won't notice for the most part. Her, she had a, she had the lateral cut on her tire. So it's not, that'll serve that bitch right. Because one thing I do know, you can't have shit like that. That shit can't be repaired. Eventually, after fucking three hours, and she realized that the NYPD was not coming. After we kept on calling. The bitch finally, she said, I, I said, listen, because, you know, I, I said, let me 
try to be the nice guy this time. I said, it's clear that the cops are not concerned with this shit. When the shit started, it was daytime. Now it's nighttime. And I was saying to myself, damn, I'm missing the motherfucking game. On top of that, even last year when Aaron Rodgers uh, first started in his first game for the Jets, I missed that shit. Came home late. I was like, damn, where, let, me, let me see what Aaron Rodgers is doing with the Jets. Then I found out he got hurt. I said, man, damn, missed that shit. Now, I, lady almost had me missing this one. So, I said, listen, might as well just let, uh, let it go. You pay for yours, I pay for mine. But she kept trying to get, insist that I pay for hers. She wasn't. She didn't seem to be concerned about paying for mine. So that's why when I was looking at her damage again, I'm like, she must have done that shit before. And then figure, you know what? Let me get this guy. So I can get him to pay for my shit. Because you know SUV tires and wheels cost more money than sedan uh, tires and wheels. So I used to work at a tire place, so I know that's the one thing <laughs> out of all shit from working at a tire place I remember is the cost of tires for certain cars. And that's why I know certain cars you don't want to get. <laughs> Trust me. There are cars out there you don't want to get. You better be able to afford the upkeep on some of these cars. Some cars you think, okay, yeah, I can afford the car. I'd advise everybody, whatever car you're about to get, before you do it, I know most of you don't want to do it because you, you're thinking, damn, I'll get the car. You know, tires are going to be available. But trust me, there will be some tires, some cars with tires that you don't have any options on. Brands and you might only have one brand that makes a tire for your car. And the shit might be expensive. Like tires on Camaros, Maseratis. You can get those cars relatively inexpensive, but the upkeep on the tires, that's going to give you a heart attack. Oh, trust me. And certain models of BMWs too. Certain years. For some odd reason, they don't have uh, particular tires for them. Not too many. But anyway, SUV, tire she had the lateral cut with the rubber sticking up I'm like you would think that came from the, what just happened but I just don't see it on mine because there was nothing sharp that hit her car that could have cut it even I looked at the piece because I bought the piece home of my chrome and it wasn't really it wasn't damaged it just broke in half and popped out of my uh, bumper. But it wasn't like damage, it cut or nothing like that. It was just popped out. You know, obviously everything was off the uh, the screws and shit, popped off and broke off, but the shit couldn't have cut her tire. I think she got that shit from someplace else doing something else. And figured, let me, let me, let me try to get this guy. But since I know the game, I wasn't letting her get me. Coming from the Midwest. Trying to run game. I say you got to learn to drive New York style. That's what you got to do. You know, you know, God damn it, you got to cut in like this. She's like, I've been living here for 20 years. I said, bullshit. The only thing you must have learned is how to hustle. But you ain't hustling me. But I didn't tell her. So I was just trying to make it look like the damage to my shit was going to be excessive because I knew that was a woman and I know a woman is thinking damn I'll take it to the they got to take it to the uh, body shop and pay you know five hundred a thousand dollars and shit that's what they're thinking you know you, you know men we're thinking should I do the shit myself which I did order that part from Rock Auto that shit came the next day 
It's crazy how big the shit, the shit looks small as fuck when it's on your car, but then when you get the piece in person, shit is big as fuck. And you're like, God damn, is it really that big? And you realize it's really that big. So, got that in. I said, man, fuck this, man. I ain't ain't even gonna bullshit. I ain't gonna delay it in the least. I said, I'm about to get this shit on right now. Because, you know, you definitely want to make sure that shit happens before it fucking starts getting cold. Because you damn sure don't want to feel like doing that shit when it's cold. Because when it's cold, you gotta have a hard time reaching screws and shit. That's when the frustration starts building. And then when frustration builds, that's when you start breaking shit. <laughs> and that's what you don't want to do. So, you know, I try to look at, make it look to her like, damn, this shit going to cost me a little something. I'll just eat it. That's what I told her. I'll eat, I, I'll eat the shit. And I think she, she looked at her shit again. Then she's like, give me a minute. Let me talk this over. That's why I said that these people must have been homosexuals because... The fuck you got to talk it over with your passenger for? And it's clearly not her sister. Because the, the East Indian bitch was darker than me. They loved the white man. Uh, <laughs> uh, she was uh, just like uh, black Uncle Tom's do. This East Indian lady, she was arguing stronger for, for her white uh, uh, lover than the white lady was arguing for herself. <laughs> I said, damn, typical. Typical. So she did talk it over. She took her about twenty five fucking minutes. I'm like motherfucker, god damn! I said this. I can't wait to get away from this bitch. And I hope nobody else has to fuck with these bitches. So <laughs> I'm like, damn, there's severe pain in the ass. I said, why did it have to be me? So she's like, all right. All right, I guess, I guess that's the way it's going to have to be. So I said, damn, good. So, <laughs> again, I knew what my part was going to call, so that's why I said, damn, I didn't even want to pay the 30, but when you think about how much that part would cost, otherwise, 30 is a bargain. Paying a deductible, 30 is a bargain. When you think about her damage, She's going to have to replace that tire. See, she, she, she doesn't know that part. Maybe she does. That's why she's, she's trying to hustle me. That fucking tire. It's on the sidewall. And it's a deep cut. It's not like a cut. That you can see. It's a cut where the rubber is lifting up. So that shit is going to eventually fail. You can't patch that shit. You can't glue it. The only thing you could do is wait for that shit to, to explode. <laughs> So the joke is on those bitches. So they got they got to buff out the rim and get a new tire. That new tire on a Genesis GV80. I forgot what brand she had. I was looking at them too. But in fact, I got them on the uh, picture, but I ain't gonna risk messing up this recording to get the picture. And uh, it's gotta cost her. Cause that was definitely that shit looked like a twenty-two. That shit looked like a twenty-two inch rim. So she paying at least two fifty. So the joke is on her. Wasted my time. Technically, you could say I I was definitely inconvenienced. That's for sure. But part of me, I needed a new chrome piece any goddamn way because the shit was starting to peel. I don't know how it was peeling because nothing else on the bumper got scratched. I'm talking before this. So it only forced me to buy the part and put it on any goddamn way. So hey, my shit looking even better now. So, <laughs> so, so hey, they got to come out their pocket with that expensive tire. That's the one thing I know, man. Tire, the cost of tires on, on bigger cars, that ain't no joke. And people don't give a fuck until they need one, you know? <laughs> when they need it, that's when it's like, oh, shit. I don't want to pay this. So, as I thought, the this story was going to get in the way. 
of the main point I was trying to make. <laughs> so I guess you can call this an update. I'm going to try and put the video on TikTok. You know, that's another thing, too. I have recorded what I thought was a good 20 minutes of fucking video. I don't know if it's just my phone or what, man. Luckily, I got some of the shit. But the, the funny, off-the-wall, viral type shit, I didn't get. It's like every time something happens, and I'm trying to record something live, right, immediately. My shit just doesn't get the shit done. And the camera stayed, still stayed at art. Only outdone by the fucking iPhone, the latest iPhone. I mean, damn. So the bitch, the white bitch, she was like, um, I know the forecast going to be like, damn, he calling her a white bitch. You goddamn right. Trying to hustle me and hit my shit. So this bitch is like, you're not going anywhere. I said, bitch, I'm not going anywhere. What the fuck you think I'm trying to go somewhere for? They kept asking me if I was insured. So what the fuck would I be driving this car and not have insurance for? Idiot. Are you insured? Because that was the main thing that... I'm telling you, out of most of the shit that they were talking about throughout that fucking time, they kept coming back wanting the insurance. And I told, I called 911 again. I said, I'm not giving these people my goddamn insurance unless a cop is here because I don't like the way this shit is going down. And I asked 911, I said, uh, what would happen if I leave the scene? She's like, I can't tell you that. And of course, she probably couldn't tell me that for real, but I probably wouldn't have liked it if she told me. So I said, I'll stay. I looked on the phone. They said, it's a crime if you leave the scene of an accident. That is, if one of the other leaves the scene, but since we both agreed to leave the scene, can't be a crime. But she should have agreed to have done that hours <laughs> before she actually did. But she's like, I know karate. You, you try to leave, you try to touch me. I said, bitch, I ain't trying to touch you. I said, if you know some fucking karate, do some karate right now. I said, I got about 120 pounds over on you. And a foot in height. I said, what the fuck is your karate going to do to me? <laughs> I said, damn, this, this this superwoman shit is really going to some of these bitches' heads. And this is a white woman, so I'm calling her a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, man, they, 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 they watch these movies. Now they think they can uh, karate up a man and shit. Like looking at her body and shit. I'm like, this bitch don't know no goddamn karate. But I said, do some now. I don't know why she bought the karate shit up, but... I said, they ain't, they ain't. I said, all you can do all the karate you want. 120 pounds is 120 pounds. <laughs> That's why in boxing and football and shit, they always talk about people's weight because those pounds make a difference. In other words, a woman trying to karate up a man, punching a man, and you weigh 120 pounds or something like that, and I'm twice that. You're not going to do anything to me. It's that simple. But that video, I'm going to search the phone again. I don't know why the fucking camera went off. But that shit would have been like your world star type of shit. Funny and exciting at the same time. Instead, I think I only ended up getting around the equivalent of about five minutes and shit. I said, damn, every time something fucking exciting happens. I said, man, do I have to get a new phone or what? I mean, damn. Pisses me the fuck off, man. And on top of that, man, I hate the way this phone works, man. It's like I got to press two buttons. Because there's a... I did rearrange the, the, the menu. But once you hit... Because you got to slide, you got to press the camera thing. Then you got slide, whether you want photographs, video, some other options. Then there's manual video, which is what I prefer. That's that's to your 
my settings, which I got, I want mine at 4K, uh, 60 frames per second with the uh, manual uh, settings. I think I got the 444 color. You know, I want my shit top, top of the line. I think I can set it for 120p too. Um, but it'll default to the whatever's in the system, which is 1080 automatic. I'm like, man, damn. They don't know when you get a got a big uh, uh, SD card in the shit that you can handle whatever you you put up here. I'm like, damn. So I gotta look again and see if I got that video. I might put it on TikTok. But see, that's why I didn't even get the chance to put the shit on TikTok because I was busy fucking with that computer. But every time something happens, man, I just can't get the shit, you know, out like that, you know, the way I want to. I, I still got videos from a few years ago of fucking highway fires that I uh, recorded. And I'm so close to the shit, I could feel the heat. I was like, damn, let me put this shit up with the quickness. And of course, quickness turned into years and still it's still not up. So the short ones I was going to put on TikTok, the ones that's of a decent link, I was going to put them on a YouTube video or something like that. We'll see, man. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So I guess the main topic, there were two topics I want to touch on. But um, I guess we're going to have to deal with that another time because this is one hour. And this is talking about stuff I wasn't even going to talk about, but... It is what it is. I'm loving the computer. Again, it's so spectacular. That playing video games, even the ones you played already. It's like you, like a whole new experience. Watching videos. I mean, I was watching the Bruce Lee Way of the Dragon. That I downloaded in 1080p. The, the Hong Kong version. You know, that was always a dirty film. But when I watched it this time, it had more dimension to it, more depth to it. I said, damn. I said, this shit is ri rivaling my motherfucking 4K TV. You know how I feel about that TV. <laughs> now, the TV's still better, though, because it got the the brightness and the darkness, the pure blacks and shit, so that, the, the computer monitor ain't fucking with that, but this goddamn new system, the processing of the video is unbelievable. I'm watching the Kung Fu movies, what was that Kung Fu movie I was watching? The something of Shaolin, go on Wikipedia and look up Venom Mob, and you'll see all the people that played in the Five Deadly Venoms, it's the second movie they came up with. I'm like, damn, I seen some of the ones they made afterwards, but I didn't know they came up with nothing. The st something to shout and I forgot the name of it. But, um, I never heard of it. Never saw it. I said, ain't that some shit? Watch that shit. God damn, this shit had it looking good. I can't say enough of it. I'm glad I went with AMD. I haven't been with AMD in quite some time. But, in this case, I'm glad I'm with AMD. So far, they seem to be sticking ahead of Intel. If they can keep it up, fine. Uh, right now, I'm satisfied. And it's DDR5. Yeah, it, I admit it, it, it does do its thing. So with that, I'm out. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I watched the movie. Uh, that's another one I'm putting on racism in Hollywood, too. Watching that dead... Pool and Wolverine. Well, that's not going on racism in Hollywood, but that picture looked unbelievable. Picture quality. It was cool to look at the Marvel comic heroes as they were in the comic books. And Wesley Snipes, I see that they said that the Blade movie has been suspended indefinitely. They might be calling Wesley Snipes back. 
If that's the case, then Ryan Reynolds did a good thing because uh, Wesley Snipes hooked him up. And now he became big, so he, and he know, knows what Wesley Snipes had to go through, so he hooked Wesley Snipes back up to get him back in the mainstream Hollywood. So it's cool. Gambit is a character I don't like. Never did, but some people like him. But even with that, it was cool to see him looking like Gambit. But see, when you see him in his outfit in the comic books, then you're like, okay, what's the purpose of that? That outfit he wears, you know? <laughs> is it just for decorations? Is it just because, you know, to come up with something or, or what? It doesn't look like it has a purpose. So, and the other movie I watched was that Alien Romulus. See, George Lucas, man, my man set it off too much. Now they got everybody making prequel after prequel after prequel. I mean, they can just keep on going back and back and just doing this, that, and the other. And on top of that, every, it's, everybody's fucking British. You know I'm tired of that shit. And you know what I said about the British and, and how they're trying to ease their way into this country and get us used to them. To merge back in with the U.S. That's why they keep doing NFL in London. Uh, matter of fact, it's just coming on. I think it's coming on tomorrow. Or did they play already? Well, anyway, NFL in London. They keep trying to. You see, if you notice, ESPN keeps trying to trick us into clicking on soccer stories by using names of athletes that are popular, last names of athletes that are popular here. And making you think that the article is talking about them. when it's Then when you click on it, it's about somebody in soccer. They try to get you to watch WNBA. Liberty won the title. But if you notice the parade. Shit. I was almost out there. But. I had to take a. Uh, different route. Probably wouldn't have ran into nothing anyway, because from what I saw, the Liberty, they, there wasn't many people out, so they had the cameras tight. So you couldn't see that there was nobody out for them. But so that's what I was wondering. I was like, damn, are they going to give them a full parade or are they going to give them like a uh, half a parade acknowledgement, uh, some shit like that? Like, a, you know, to say, hey, man, we thank you. But they try to, from what I heard, they try to give them a full parade, but I ain't going to lie, man. I, I, I watched the second half when when Minnesota says they got cheated. I, I, I believe they got cheated. I ain't going to tell you no lie. <laughs> they got cheated. <clears throat> I think what it is, they, they probably said, you know what, with all the controversy and the attention that they got this season, if they can get the number one city to win the title, maybe that'll help things out even more. When you see the low turnout for the parade, even on the radio, a guy was talking about, man, I ain't going to see, but why are they getting the parade and all that kind of shit? They said that shit on the radio. I said, damn. Oh, Oh, okay, damn, I forgot. I, I, I thought I had the groceries in the back. I, I did that shit earlier. I was about to say I have some frozen shit that I ain't bringing yet. Uh, through all this time, <laughs> I was about to say, it's just the car wash shit. Phew. But, um, the Alien Romulus. Interesting movie. I'm tired of these Brit. I, I mean, I'm, when I say I'm, why is it every time I watch a movie, everybody has to be British? Now, the original Alien movies, maybe I got to go back and watch some of those. But, see, the other prequels, you can work with that and make that shit different. But see, once you start having the aliens show themselves, there's nothing else you can do from that point on but the copy the other movies, which is the, and this is what this was, a copy of. You know, the aliens coming after you, going in your stomach and getting in your face, dropping acid and you, you shooting them and killing them. Because there's nothing 
else that you could do unless you can it turns into a starship troopers type of shit. You know? So that's what they did. They had the black guy, African dude, acting like a slave. Don't put that shit in racism in Hollywood. Then he turned out to be a fucking robot. I know I'm giving the shit away. <laughs> turned out to be a robot. Because he seems seemed like a slave at first. And a protector of the white lady. And of course, they had to make a... They didn't say the white lady was uh, Ridley. But, um... I hate when they have characters in the movie like that white lady, whoever the, the lady was. I know when she was wearing those shorts. See that ass? I said, okay, that ass ain't too bad. But, um... You know, they had them caring about people more than they do themselves. And, you know, that lead, supposed to be that leader type of shit. Are you all right? Let me help you here. Do this, do that. People supposed to be leaders and shit. See, here's the bottom line. If those motherfuckers come from another planet, it'll be a never ending thing. So I, I don't know where they take it, where they, where they go, but... I, I didn't like the depiction of the black man. And, they, and again, they couldn't have... See, the original aliens... That was American. Now the shit shifts to British. Star Wars, American. They had British only because George Lucas was filming at the Pinewood Studios. And they had a rule where if you use our studios, you got to hire some locals. You know, that, that's, that's fine. It makes sense to do that. So why don't doesn't Hollywood do this shit? Do the same shit. That's how you get those British people in Star Wars. And I think George Lucas probably thought, you know what? Cuz if you notice most of the British people in Star Wars the ones made by George Lucas were um part of the empire I don't know if you noticed that <laughs> then Disney came with their bullshit I got something on Facebook that said they're coming out with a train tranny uh, uh, Star Wars character <laughs> I don't know if that was a joke or not but some that's what somebody put on Facebook stupid these movies are crazy uh, I'm back into my Kung Fu uh Shit and, and these ultra rare movies that I happen to hear about and come across. Luckily, there's these sites that's uh, putting these shits out. Like Chris Christopherson just died. And I said about a couple of weeks or so before he died, I had hunted down a movie called Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, which was the the uh, movie that spawned the TV show Alice. And I said, oh, so I knew about the TV show. Matter of fact, they got websites that Internet Archive or whatever. I noticed the last time I was searching something, the, that site was down. Maybe they don't like people watching old videos and shit from it. So they want to fuck around with it. So I said, let me watch some of these episodes of Alice. And I said, oh. That was one of the great theme songs of a TV show, though. That Alice theme song. But see, I never got it. Why she said she wanted to be a singer. And why she left and all that kind of shit. Until I saw the Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore movie. I said, oh, you, have to, you really have to see that movie before you see that TV show. And then you'll get it. <laughs> Then you'll get it. But Chris Christopherson was in that. Anyway, damn, an hour and 14 minutes, I still didn't make the topic. So anyway, glad I washed my car before I fell asleep. Glad I made this before I fell asleep. So <laughs> with that, I'm out.